What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to give you 10 sleeper crypto that I think you should look into before the 2024 year begins. Uh, I was going to make this a few days ago, but work got really busy. I got my water. I had my coffee. Let's kick it off. By the way, if you missed my last top five video or top eight crypto, I think it was. Uh, be sure to check that out. And before I get the what about this one, what about this one, I can only fit so many crypto on one list, okay? Let's kick it off. Number one, LCX. It's priced at seven cents. A year ago, it was sub three cents. And this is a crypto I've been bullish on for a long time, been buying it for over two years. It's a 55 million market cap. The trading volume is up 94% today, 1.8 million. Very significant, 81% of their 950 million total supply and circulation. Uh, without getting into every single point as to why I'm bullish on every crypto, I'm just going to give you guys a price prediction as to where I see it. Uh, $0.68 cents was the last bull cycle all-time high. I think this bull cycle alone, it's going to be minimum $1. Minimum. I think upwards of $2 is definitely in the cards for LCX. Uh, being an exchange crypto, taking some market share away from Binance after that whole fiasco with CZ and the illegal things he was allegedly doing, I think LCX is going to do very well. It's going to fly like most of your centralized exchange coins have been doing. Even your DEX cryptos like Uniswap, PancakeSwap have had some pretty good gains. And I really see no reason why LCX can't balloon up. Monty Mesger is a very proactive CEO. He's coming out with many different products they're trying to feature on the exchange. They recently added another revamp to the exchange. They're having their earn program, tokenizing assets. There's a lot of things happening for LCX. Definitely very bullish, even at seven cents. I think this is definitely worth looking into before we head into 2024. Number two, Art Block ABT, priced at 12 cents, had a mini run from nine cents to 14 cents in a matter of like a day or two. It's finally cooling off. I want to DCA further into this crypto below 10 cents. 186 million coin cap, 12 million market cap. They have 98.6 million in circulation. Art block to me, I see this crypto getting to minimum five to ten dollars this bull cycle, which is a five hundred million to a one billion market cap. Definitely doable for the Web three space. They're focused on decentralizing the internet, giving developers the option to use what's called blocklets, which is part of their ecosystem to deploy applications, to build websites, to literally build their own space on a decentralized web. It's on Coinbase. It was not on Coinbase last bull cycle. You're still super early, even with this run up. I think the Web3 space is going to get a lot more eyes on it this time around. And with what Artblock wants to do, and I think Artblock is definitely going to fly. Number three, Bluezell, BLZ, priced at 27 cents. I'm thinking of getting back into this crypto. I made a 3X and then swing trade it. It's got 116 million market cap. Their trading volume is almost 19 million. Very significant given the small market cap size. They have 426 million at their 500 million total supply. It's only down like a 4x from the all-time high, which is something to very to take note of because most altcoins right now are not down a 4x from all-time high. Most of them are down 6, 8, 10x. Okay, this is definitely something to take note of because the strength of Blue Zell, which their trading volume definitely shows signs. Blue Zell is prepared to rip it this cycle. I think Blue Zell can get you eight to ten dollars this bull cycle. The market cap is pretty small. The supply is very scarce, five hundred million, and they're in the game finance sector. Gaming to me, I think is going to blow up yet again. And when you have gaming, what do you need? Game finance, the centralized storage, NFTs, and Blue Zell is literally. Fitting in there like a glove. It's also a layer one to transact. They're very versatile in their crypto. They're not a layer one blockchain. They're an ETH token, but they can transact. So you're talking about a decentralized storage web three game finance crypto. This crypto is going to blow up in my opinion. I kind of wish I didn't swing trade it because I would have been up like a 7x right now, a consolidated 7x. But even with this surge in price, I'm zooming out and looking at the market cap which is still very small, 116 million is still a micro cap. You don't get upgraded to the small cap status until you get to around a 250 million market cap. So Bluezell has made some multipliers, yes, but I still think many multipliers 
are yet to come, which is why you should probably take a look at it and add it to your watch list for this month. Number four, Flux, priced at 51 cents, 171 million market cap. The trading volume is 31.8 million, up 261%. They have 338 million or 7% of their 440 million in total supply. Currently in circulation, less than 23% inflation. Not bad whatsoever. I bought this about a month ago and now I'm up roughly 38%. The all-time high previously was close to $3. It's at $0.51 cents now, which the market cap is pretty small. $171 million still puts it in the micro cap uh, sector. It's in the Web3 space. It's proof of work, truly decentralized. It's a cloud computing network, which helps decentralize the Web3 space, which is where it's in blockchain technology. They did not have an ICO. They have 94% of their supply allocated to users who are mining it and running the nodes. And as soon as they get their mining rewards in flux, it's put out there in the ecosystem. They have only 3% allocated to the public. 3%, that is literally nothing. Okay, it is the true definition of decentralization. It's one of the only Web3 companies that can actually say they're decentralized. Proof of work inherently is more decentralized than proof of stake. Flux is a crypto that I think is necessary for the Web3 space. And I definitely think at this current price, it is worth looking into for this month. And in terms of where I see its price going, $3 roughly was the last all-time high. I think Flux from here can get anywhere from $3.50 to around $4, maybe $5 this bull cycle, which is a crazy gain. That's like an 80 to 100x, which will put it at around the 10 to 20 billion market cap, give or take. Definitely doable for the niche it's in, the sector it's in. I really don't think it has too much competition. There's a lot of Web3 companies that are trying to do similar things to Flux, but because it's proof of work and truly decentralized, you need those features to do what it wants to do in the Web3 space. So I definitely think Flux is worth looking into an anterior watch list for this month. Number five, say SEI. It's a new layer one that just came out, I believe, in August. It's priced at 28 cents, 607 million market cap. Its all time high is literally the current price. It's literally a new crypto that just got put on Coinbase. I believe it's on Binance as well. 417 million trading volume right now, which is up a lot. They have a 2.2 billion circulating supply, which is roughly 20% of their 10 billion total supply. So they do have high inflation, uh, which is like, you know, 80%. So do keep that in mind. But a lot of cryptos that get launched during the bull run, I notice tend to usually have poor tokenomics when it comes to their market caps and fully diluted market cap so just keep that in mind it's running up now but you will see some selling pressure soon you only have roughly half of their supply allocated to the team and vc private investors that is something to take note of right they're comparing their transaction speed to be two times as fast as solana which solana right now is the fastest blockchain out there in the market so if say is coming out backed by vcs backed by private investors and their marketing pitch is shown to be faster than Solana, they can definitely have a rocket ship cycle like Solana has had. Now keep in mind, I know cryptos that are heavily backed by VCs and private investors are usually bad, but this time I believe we're early, which is why if you're okay with that, you should look into say, because if it does have a Solana run, which it's not gonna get to 260, that supply is way too high, 10 billion, but it can definitely get to three four five dollars this cycle which if it does that's a very good gain from 28 cents which is why i'm looking to get into this crypto soon and add to my portfolio just keep in mind though it's vc back but only 50 percent to them and it is a newer crypto a new layer one that's on coinbase and binance definitely has a lot of potential to rocket ship but the fact that they're carbon negative and really fast if they are indeed the fastest blockchain out there they probably could take some market share from solana and definitely outpace it at the very least it's bull cycles it's one i've been researching for a while and have my eye on and in terms of where i see it going i think upwards of four to five dollars this bull cycle which is very bullish but I think it's possible for say, especially with who they're working with, who's behind it, who's backing it, and their fundamentals. Number six, moving into meme coins now, which I see them as lottery plays, by the way, but they can still give you some insane gains. 
Pepe, it's a 554 million market cap. There are one, two, three, four, five zeros, one, three. The trading volume is 419 million insane for a meme coin. They have their entire supply and circulation, 418 trillion. It's on every exchange except Coinbase, which is why I'm super bullish on it. I think it's only a matter of time before it gets on Coinbase. It's a frog, it's not a dog. So the competition, in my opinion, is minimized. Got a very strong community that just keeps growing by the day. And Pepe has been showing some strength, okay? In the past week, it's up 25%. That's pretty significant, especially given its current market cap size. It's not a micro cap, it's a small cap, okay? But Pepe, believe it or not, in my opinion, can still 100x from here, or roughly 100x. I think it, it can get to 301, which is almost where SHIB got to last bull cycle. Again, SHIB got to the top 20 and still isn't a top 20. Dogecoin's number nine right now. Okay, meme coins do have their place. And the fact that Pepe is a frog that has a strong community and is not yet listed on Coinbase, which I do believe is only a matter of time. I think with the first bull run taking place for Pepe and this major catalyst and the reduced competition, that Pepe is going to fly and that's some pretty crazy games this cycle. Number seven, Samo or Samoid coin, which has been making me some pretty good gains lately. It's around a penny right now. It's up 36% in the past week. For the past month, 93%. Past year, 152%. Okay, but don't let this fool you. It is still a micro cap, 35 million. That's it. And they have 3.7 billion of their less than 5 billion total supply. Yes, you heard that correct. In circulation, around a 23% inflation rate. They have only less than 5% allocated to the team. It's got a decentralized marketplace. It's the most decentralized meme coin, in my opinion. Despite being proof of stake, there's no top wallet holding like 90% of supply. Okay, a lot of meme coins tend to have skewed uh, holdings when it comes to top wallets. Samoyed coin has a very decentralized marketplace. And because there's no team holding a lot of the supply, you're not going to see a huge dump. And they brand themselves as the Dogecoin of Solana, which Solana is literally about to take over XRP. Literally any day, top five crypto. If Solana grows, guess what's gonna grow with it? Their ecosystem and their dog. Samoyed coin, for its market cap size and scarce supply, less than five billion, which the majority of your meme coins have trillions of coins. There's no reason why I think Samo Coin can't keep flying like it's been doing in the past week, past month. The all-time high previously was around 25 cents. I think it's going to get to minimum 50 cents, upwards of a dollar this bull cycle, which is over a 50x from here. If you buy in a penny and it gets to 50 cents, you're going to be very glad you got in. But don't just buy it because I'm bullish and don't just get in because you see it up. Okay, personally, if you're trying to invest into Samo, you can get it on Gemini, which is where I had it. And I would wait for maybe a little correction. But Samo at a penny is definitely super early. And I think you should be looking into it if you've been waiting to get into a meme coin that is on Solana's network. Number eight, Bonk. This was brought up by one of my Patreon and Discord members. It's priced at one, two, three, four, five, zero, six, seven. It's a 368 million market cap. The trading volume is 167 million. You see how a lot of these meme coins have high trading volume? They're very popular crypto. Their circulating supply is 54.2 trillion. Bonk actually had a burn. So their total supply is just under 94 trillion, which is obviously not scarce, but definitely a lot less from your other meme coins, which have hundreds of trillions of coins or tokens in supply it's not as large of a supply as like shiba inu or other meme coins which have like over 500 trillion uh, in circulating supply it's not scarce by any means but bonk which recently got listed on uphold by the way is another solana meme coin that i think will do well in the past week it is up 88 percent which is why I'm not looking to establish a position yet into it. I am looking at it. I might add it for my lottery plays. In the past month, it's up almost 800%. Insane. This is the all-time high, by the way. So I'm not looking to get into this yet. But if it has a cool-off, I think Bonk 
should be added to your watch list for the sole fact that Solana is getting a lot more comparisons to Ethereum. They're seeing more cryptos come out now and say they're Solana killers, which is very bullish. It means that a lot of companies now believe in Solana, the tech and fundamentals, and they want to start mirroring it. Whenever you see crypto starting to try to copy uh, certain layer ones or say they can kill it, that's very bullish for that crypto. So Solana is sort of moving into the same category as Ethereum, definitely right behind it. And if you're trying to invest in their ecosystem, specifically a meme coin, I think Bonk should definitely be worth looking into and add to your watch list. In terms of where I see it going, I mean, right now it's ripping it. It's also not yet on Coinbase, which would be a big catalyst to send a pump in. Right now it's 5067. I also think Bonk could potentially get to 301, which would be a crazy game from here. Number nine, Dogalon Mars, ticker symbol Elon. This is another crypto that I made a few grand on uh, back, uh, was it two years ago? It's one, two, three, four, five, six zeros, one, seven. If you quick the year chart, this is pretty much the bottom. A lot of people had fears with this crypto because the Medusa Foundation, which is a nonprofit charity, started selling some of the supply. But now looking at the price, this is pretty much bottomed out, which if you've been looking at it, this is probably worth your time looking into. By the way, I'm not telling you guys to buy all these meme coins or all these crypto. I'm literally just giving you guys 10 crypto that I think are sleepers that could give you some gains. Obviously, it wouldn't be wise to buy every meme coin and every crypto on this list, okay? I just wanted to bring that up. But Dogalon Mars, it's a 94 million market cap. The supply is 550 trillion, which is definitely a lot. They're on Gemini for those who are looking to buy it. The reason why I like Dogal on Mars, it still has yet to be listed on Binance and Coinbase. Now, obviously, a Coinbase listing is not guaranteed for every meme coin, but Dogal on Mars, I believe, has self marketing by itself because it merges Dogecoin's name and Elon Musk's name. The ticker symbol is literally Elon. I really don't see any reason why I can't rip it when Elon Musk talks about crypto, especially meme coins, because every time he's done that, we've seen a trickle down effect. It literally has Elon's name in the ticker symbol. And Dogalon Mars, Mars is where Elon Musk apparently wants to have his big expedition. So I think the marketing alone with the community it has could send it soaring. Um, last time I bought it, I made like a pretty good gain off it. I think it got to like four zeros uh, at some point. Yeah, four zero three was the previous all time high. I think it can minimum get to four zeros five this bull cycle. I'm not too great at math, don't want to do this on camera, but that would be a very crazy gain, especially at this current price where it's most beat up and there's a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt with this meme coin. Number 10, big time. This is a game in crypto, which I would not recommend, not financial advice, to buy it now. It's been riding up like crazy. This is just one to add to your watch list in case you're looking for a game in crypto. It's 69 cents. A little bit a day ago, it was like 30 cents. It's up in the past week, 230%. 177 million market cap. They have 255 million of their 1 billion give or take total supply their tokenomics are absolute trash five percent in circling supply they have a 95 percent inflation rate which is why i believe eventually this run up is going to eventually come down someone's going to take profits something to take note of aside from being a gaming crypto on coinbase they had a fair launch no ICO. So to me, I like seeing cryptos that have fair launches. The majority of their holdings that's not in circulation is paid out to people who are playing the games. So that's where you're going to see a lot of the selling pressure take place when their game starts taking off and we see users come in, they're going to start selling some of their big time. So this is definitely a high risk, high reward gaming token, but their connections are pretty good. I've been researching, you know, who they're connected to and I definitely think big time has a shot at really rocket ship. I mean, it's already pretty much doing it. In terms of where I see its price going, I mean, it's hard to tell right now because the circling supply will get dumped on at some point. But if I had to put a number on it, I would say anywhere from 5 to $6 this bull cycle is in the cards for big time. Now, granted, with the fully diluted supply, this would be a huge gain. It would be roughly a $35 billion market cap, give or take. But gaming cryptos have shown, especially in last cycle and previous cycles, 
that when they get interesting, a lot of FOMO can take place. A good example was Axie Infinity. They went from like $2 to $168. Mana, Sandbox, Gala, Engine. A lot of these cryptos flew when they got interesting. Now, I'm not saying big time's gonna 100X, but a $5 big time is definitely not out of the cards. But it's very hard to underestimate these gaming cryptos. So big time, personally, I want to get into this. We we're just talking about this on my Discord. But I don't want to buy it at this price. I'm just hopefully waiting for a bigger crash. I would ideally want to buy it below 50 cents. But it's very hard to tell. But this is a time that you should be adding it to your watch list. Research it. And also wait for a potential pullback. Anyways, these are my top 10 sleeper cryptos that I think you should add to your watch list, research, maybe look to get into. Obviously, for the ones that are riding up, make sure you don't just have FOMO and also make sure you don't just buy everything, okay? I always tell you guys with these videos when I make them, you should be adding cryptos you're bullish on or want to research to your watch list and look to establish entries into the ones that you believe in, that you believe are at good prices to make some money this bull cycle but i think these 10 definitely have a lot of potential to really rocket ship this bull cycle by the way if you want to reach out to me talk to me see your crypto on buying sell and trading run your portfolio by me i do have a tier for that where you can get direct feedback from me or be part of voice chat hangouts which i am doing on a weekly basis and live streams which i will be doing soon i'll be discussing exit strategies different crypto picks the news, what I'm doing. If you want this and more, then feel free to join the Patreon and Discord. I'll leave a link in the pinned comments down below. It would be awesome to see there. But anyways, now I want to hear from you. Do you hold any of these 10 crypto? And if so, which one of these 10 right now are you most bullish on for this cycle? Drop your comments down below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps so much. That being said, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.